Intel buys self-driving car technology, Pandora launches an alternative to Spotify, Facebook takes a stand against surveillance, and more. It's Monday, March 13th, and this is Crunch Report. Intel has confirmed that it's acquiring Mobileye, a leader in computer vision, specifically computer vision in autonomous driving. The price is $15.3 billion. That's billion with a B, making this the biggest ever acquisition of an Israeli tech company. Mobileye's CTO and co-founder will lead Intel's autonomous driving division, which will be based in Israel. In a statement, Intel CEO Brian Krasanek noted, quote, Intel provides critical foundational technologies for autonomous driving, including plotting the car's path and making real-time driving decisions. In other words, it's not totally crazy that Intel wants to get more involved in self-driving tech. Pandora's long-awaited alternative to Spotify has arrived. Today, the company announced the debut of a new paid tier to its streaming service called Pandora Premium. It will offer a combination of the radio-like listening that you already get from Pandora, plus the option to search and play any track and to create your own playlists. The new service is priced like other music subscriptions at $9.99 per month. This is not the same thing as Pandora Plus, the $5 per month tier that Pandora announced last year, which offers things like skips and offline access, but isn't truly on demand the way Pandora Premium is. In response to pressure from the American Civil Liberties Union, Color of Change, and the Center for Media Justice, Facebook said that it's clarifying its developer policy to explicitly prohibit the use of Facebook or Instagram data in surveillance tools. Facebook has said in the past that this kind of surveillance is already against its policies, but the ACLU has revealed several instances of developers using information gleaned from Facebook's APIs to create surveillance tools for law enforcement. Each time, Facebook banned the developer in question, and now its policy has been changed to say that the developers can't use data obtained from us to provide tools that are used for surveillance. Twitter made a similar announcement in November. Do you like watching YouTube videos with your friends? Well, a team from Google's internal incubator, Area 120, has launched Uptime, an app that lets you do exactly that. When you're watching a video, your profile icon floats across the screen, and you can comment on the video or post emojis. These reactions will be displayed to anyone who watches the video, even if they're watching later on. Several new iPad models have been spotted being tested in Cupertino and nearby locations, according to mobile marketing firm Fixu, which suggests that there might be some truth in previous rumors of a planned iPad refresh this spring. Fixu's raw data is showing four different iPad models, but that doesn't necessarily mean four new devices will arrive. The firm saw a number of different devices being tested before the release of the last two iPad Pros. As for those rumors, they suggest Apple will update its 12.9-inch iPad Pro model, as well as introduce a new 10-inch or 10.5-inch model with a narrower bezel, plus a budget-friendly 9.7-inch option. That's the report for today. I'm Anthony Ha. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. Your regular host, Tito Hamzy, will be back tomorrow.